Greetings my friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am taking you through our stay at Disney's Riviera Resort located at Walt Disney World. I need to preface this by saying that initially I had actually booked us a deluxe studio. So to my great surprise, we had been majorly pixie dusted and were upgraded to a preferred one bedroom villa. So I was very confused in the beginning and I blame that like on Epcot with all the food and drinks we had and that Guardians of the Galaxy ride that got me all discombobulated, but I promise I pull it together in the end. So let's get started with this amazing preferred one bedroom villa tour. All right, so we are in the Riviera. We are on the first floor in a preferred room, room 8102. Here we go. All right, so right behind the door are some pegs for your bags or your jackets. We have some like galvanized mirrors right here. I have two of them. All right, stepping in is the kitchen area. So this is a full size kitchen, it looks like. Um, even though we got a studio, it's like everything is full size. That's awesome. And then turning around, we do have a stove and an oven. Let's check out everything else here. All the utensils. This can't be a studio. This has got to be a one bedroom, this, right? This cannot be a studio. We've got the microwave. Let's see this. Yeah, really, really nice. This has to be a one bedroom. I'm going to find out. And up here, nothing. We have some casserole dishes for cooking. You have your plates right up here. Really nice plates and bowls. coffee mugs, and more drinkware. You have a coffee maker, a 12 cup coffee maker. This might be a cone, yep. So you're gonna need a cone filter in case you decide to bring your own coffee. You will need cone filters. And here you have your toaster, you have your creamers, coffee cups, sugars, and then down below the little coffee area, you have your dishwasher and a pull out a trash can and recycling bin. I don't think I showed the pots and pans underneath the microwave right here. So down here we have a lot of pots and pans, a colander, bowls, and then extra paper towels, and then the dishwashing soap and sponges. All right, so we're going into the bathroom. Walk-in shower, you don't have to step over anything. Really nice. There's a seat right here, handheld rain shower. Okay, then coming in here, we have a mirror, maybe like a little vanity area, towels, that does not open. And then a tub, really nice soaking tub. Oh my goodness, really, really nice. All right. And then closing doors, let's close that up. Another two more doors to close? Let's see. Oh, really cool. Very, very nice. Okay, so looking in from the room, here's the other angle from the bathroom. Really, really lovely. Okay, so if I turn around from this bathroom, we have the bedroom. Let's check this out. So over here we have a desk, phone, okay turning around there is a full length mirror right over here and a closet. You can use this to open or close it. In the closet we have some hangers, looks like a little bit of drawer space right through here extra pillow and blanket up top. Then we have our TV with, I'm assuming all of these open. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but yep, let's just check the top ones at least. Cool deal. All 
All right, and I'm seeing a lot of outlets, which is right by the bed, right here. On the other side too, right over there by that lamp too. Oh my gosh. Is that supposed to be Marie from, oh, there's all the kitties or just two of them? Nope, all three of them from Aristocats, how cute. Okay, so if I'm turning around, here is the living space. Okay, so from the kitchen, this is the living space. So you have the TV right over here. What is, is this gonna be a bed, I'm assuming? Oh my gosh, <gasps> that is so darling. So we have a Murphy bed underneath the TV and it is old school Mickey and Pluto lounging on some chairs. How cute, huge, huge TV. And then turning around just your lounge area super darling wow i'm gonna pull that bed down because there is a murphy bed right there so i'm gonna pull that down show you what that looks like oh my goodness so nice okay and then if you turn around this way this goes into the bedroom which i just showed you okay so let's go check out our view so this is a preferred view uh i'm still thinking this is not a studio this has got to be a one bedroom but let's come out here to check it out okay and the door closes behind you i'm hoping that i okay i'm gonna say hopefully I'm not, don't get stuck here's the patio with a beautiful view And you can see that the pool is over there in the distance. This is so, so nice. And the next patio is not too far down, but you still have a lot of privacy because you can scoot back a little bit if you want. But this is gorgeous. And right over there is Caribbean um, Beach Resort, I believe. And I think that's part of Caribbean Beach. I'm unsure. I've never actually stayed there. I wouldn't mind staying there, though. And then there is one more patio door right here that goes into the bedroom. All right, let me work on getting this bed down so you guys can see it. I got the bed down. It was a little difficult to pull down, but not terrible. But look at that picture of Peter Pan, Wendy, John Michael, and I cannot remember the other little boy's name, but that is darling. I love that. And also, another cool note is that there's little cubby holes right here where you can do um, your, all your stuff. So your phone or to charge your watch or your games. So that is a great touch right there. Or for like a glass of water or anything for a night. Perfect. And also, another cool thing is that if you have kids that like move around, they can can be okay because the couch area kind of comes out a little bit so that is so cool and it's on both sides and you just have to move the table out of the way but you could just move that like right over there it rolls really really easily So on the way to the bathroom, the door's closed. Let me just show you real quick so you know where we're at here. So there's the bathroom on the left side. We do have a large closet with a vacuum, which is great. A laundry basket, really nice. Um, an ironing board, hangers, extra pillow, and blankets. And I see the iron up there too. And turning around. We have a washer and dryer, awesome. And they're not even like this, The usually in the one bedrooms you get like the standing ones where they're on top of each other, but these are like the full side side by side, so that's great. 
We literally had to drag ourselves away from our beautiful room to have dinner at Topolino's Terrace. I know, such a bummer, but this is the Riviera's signature dining restaurant, and it's located on the very top floor of the East Wing. And just for reference, our room was located on the West Wing, closest to the Skyliner Station. This was our second time having dinner here, and it's such a lovely experience from the food, the service, and if you time it right, you can actually view the fireworks from Epcot, which which feels like just a stone's throw away from the resort. They also have a viewing deck if you want to get a closer look, but we had a great view from our table. If you're wanting to read more about our dining experience, I'll be posting a blog post over my blog and I'll leave a link down below in the description box when I post that. But I have already posted a fairly large guide to everything at Disney's Riviera Resort. I tried to make it as comprehensive as possible. So if you're needing any additional information, I will leave that link in the description for you so you can go check it out. And if you were looking for any other Disney Resort room tours. I do have more here on my channel and on my blog. I've done Beach Club, I have Bay Lake Towers, Animal Kingdom, and All Star Movies, but I do have a handful more that are coming up. So if you guys have not subscribed already, definitely subscribe to my channel. If you guys enjoyed this and give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate your support and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.